Okay. Uh, let me start with the group intro itself. I mean, it might be boring for most of you because you guys, you guys know it, but maybe one or two. So we have general welcome is where everyone joins and we just welcome them to go through rules and guidelines where we posted a few things, just pretty common stuff to be polite and be good to each other. And then invite link to the group can be found here. This can be used to call the exception. And about the group itself here, we have uh, different levels and for whatnot and what to be expected in each group uh, or each level of subscription. And you can read through all this and we have a website where uh, we have some basic info, not too much in there. But just basic info, we have linked to the group about just uh, what do we do, what is our aim and what is the expectation and levels and uh, some pictures of what we did before and how it's working out and how we trade and how can you contact us. And, and also we have some social networking uh, links at the bottom for the profiles we have. Not much in there, but it will keep growing hopefully. So that's that. I'll quickly go through the profit losses is where we post mostly uh, at the end of the day. I'm trying to put an overview of how we did, good and bad. Let's see how it goes. General chat is for the general audience, not for the advanced, but uh, we had this education, but didn't pretty much do we active in that because of the high volatility, but probably I'll try to pick it up and post more in this chat. And for the advanced members, we have notes. I try to post notes every morning or mostly before night. I, I, I prepare notes prior to going to bed the night before. And what do I do is I have like three different uh, watch list. One for major tickers and what is the list for today. And the other one is holdings, few of them, which I hold and uh, also try to share with our friends. So I kind of go through each one of them and prepare a list, top five, make to the list here. And mostly I provide levels, but sometimes I skip the levels because either it's too late or uh, the features are too crazily moving and it doesn't make any sense to have levels there. But uh, the calls above, stop out, suggestion, puts below, stop out, suggestion. So these are just to give an idea, like if these levels are broken, if it's in the right direction for us, then I'm gonna take these calls, I'm gonna put an alert for these and post uh, suggestion, uh, suggest options. So even if I don't, if you're at least experienced enough to know what these levels are, what this ticket is and what this uh, calls above and stop out, if this, you know what this means, then you can just simply take this one and focus and trade it yourself too. But this is my focus list for the day and those will be the top uh, first few, but Along with these, as I shared, I have quite a few number of uh, tickers here. I kind of go with four by four layout here and have four by four. And then I clone my window three times or four times and have 12 tickers in three screens and watch them on five minutes or one hour, uh, depends on what I'm trading. So I go by that and share alerts. So, uh, that's that. And alerts is something on a given day, I try to post an alert. Mostly, I mean, I, I don't, I myself don't like this format here, but sometimes uh, I try to cop, make sure I have at least a open positions like this, but mostly I'm trying to find a dashboard or something. If you guys have any idea about anything to incorporate with this Discord, like a dashboard. Uh, where we can simply uh, like an Excel sheet or something that would be much easier for us to follow and whatnot. But I'm trying to do my best like alerting uh, to exit. If I see something going crazily in the opposite direction or if it is hitting a point where, okay, exit now, I try to uh, mention it. Sometimes I put it in uh, an, uh, capital letters like exit now. Uh, somewhere I did it, I did, yeah, here it is. So this was a point where, I mean, if you don't exit at this time or in the next few seconds, then you will lose money. So uh, I'm trying to 
I'm trying to come up with some some other uh, formatting. But if you guys don't follow or don't like what you're seeing here, suggestions are always welcome. I'll make sure to improvise this service so that we, can, we all can benefit out of it. That's one. And if you have any questions, but keep keep hold on to them. We'll talk about it once I'm done here. And then the charts. Whenever I see a chart or whenever I have a request in the watch list or wish list, or if I have something to share, I will just go through different time frames. I mean, this is one of the things where I posted, like I saw this strike goal, and once as soon as this is broken, previous late in the after hours and pre-market, this was the action expected. I was talking to a few members uh, on the chat, like, okay, don't worry if you if you feel you lost. Uh, a good entry here, but into the open, you will definitely get the chance to re-enter here. And this was a uh, action expected and that's rightly have been done here. So we, we safely went into the spread. I mean, my, my intentions usually would be going to the naked puts or naked calls, but in this market action, I wanted to be safe then sorry. So that's one. And we also traded a few things like SPY as well. I've been, I mean, I've heard few, not few, but at least 10, 15 members sharing their losses or uh, not able to get out of their longs, but I've been posting this one quite a bit. It will be in this channel. I mean, it was sometime before it came back until here at 384 or somewhere we are here, but I mean, we, we might go to 388, but definitely going to come back to 360 is my expectation. I'll talk about it later in the call. So that's the chart section. Mostly I try to post if, if it is a scenario where it can break out or break down, I kind of have two crossroads. We don't know what to do. So we'll keep, we'll wait for the direction to follow. And this is the Amazon chart for monthly, I guess. This one is very oh, broad top level overview. It definitely hit this bottom here, uh, which was 2980 or 2890. Expecting it not to come down. If it comes down, I mean, 2500. It's very ugly, but that, that could be possible. Because if you see a monthly, it cannot, it's on the downtrend here. It On the downtrend, it cannot go above that line. It keep, that is it. I mean, most of the time, if you see a chart like this, if it doesn't hold on to these levels here, it's gonna fall down to the next level before, which is 2750, in the worst case, 2500. It's, it's very, very uh, rare for um, a stock like Amazon to fall this deep, but it's always expect the unexpected in stock market, right? So if SPY is going to hit 360, 350, then 2750, uh, if not lower is, not something surprising for me. But if, if you see here, it, it's all the weeks on the top is very bearish on monthly. It's not, doesn't have, it, it does need a good catalyst to break out of this level. I mean, it's, it, it's a big stock and the, they either need to split it or come up with something. It's definitely not going up. So that's that. And member alerts is something, uh, if you take any positions, with notes or my alerts or something which you follow somewhere else. If you take something, if it is helpful to other members or at least to bring it to my attention, you can post it in here. That's the meaning, that's the intention of this member alerts. This list is always to ask something to be reviewed later in the day or when I have some time. Group chat, you know, I mean, I guess few members asked about it. We might need to use this one pretty good. So because a lot of SPACs have been in a bad shape in the last one week or so. Maybe time to get long on that, but not just yet, I guess. So, so that's that. And what else? That's all. I mean, that's a basic group orientation I have. Any questions? Hey, Raja. <clears throat> Balaji here. Yeah. Hey, you're, do you're doing a great job. I see a lot of, like, uh, you, I mean, you did a lot of changes to the group and LX types. You more or like concentrating on a few of the uh, low premium LX for smaller accounts too. Yeah. And that really appreciate, man. Thank you so much for that, uh, putting more efforts towards those too. Yeah. So 
only one suggestion i would like to i mean two few things i just want to add up if you like just uh, uh, do those changes yeah. so you have open positions that right? instead of in the alerts can you just create one more channel like open positions Okay. So that where we, instead of missing those, that will be easier for everyone to go through that channel to see what open positions you have. And if you miss, we can go back and see if we get any lower premium or something. Okay. That one thing. And uh, coming to the other alert type, right? Mm -hmm. So if possible, uh, can you add? I know it's tricky to say whether it will be a day trade or it will be a swing. But if possible, can you just add? Will that be a day trade or swing? Because uh, I mean, for bigger accounts, I don't think day trades won't be a problem. But smaller accounts, pretty much they have limited. Uh, yeah, day I, trades. I usually do that. Uh, uh, if you uh -huh. see, mostly uh, in the last week, yeah. I kind of lost it. But if you see, uh, I do swing spreads and day trades are something. If you if I'm going for the weekly, then mostly that's a day trade, definitely. And if I'm going for the next week. 99 percent is a day trade but maybe we can trim it and keep it for one, one more day but if i'm going for april or like a three 15 days or more than 15 days then that definitely a swing but yeah i will i'll because in this uh, sharp action type of uh, market I, by the time i type it it's gone man. so that's the reason i'm if you see most of the times i simply copy and paste it and or uh, sometimes i just take go go for monthly take it out or something because it's very fast action going on but it definitely wants to have more swing trades than uh, day trades or the Lotus option uh, type of trading because swing trades is where we, you have le less risk and less stress and more gains. But in this type of market, just see this action. This, <laughs> if you can swing in this one, <laughs> you are, this, is not, this is definitely not swing market. So that's the reason we are not doing it in the last 10, 15 days, but definitely, uh, um, if we if the market comes down a little bit like this, we can definitely get back into that room. Yeah, but I I, get, I take that I definitely try to mention it. But for for, for the open positions session you did, I was discussing this with my wife yesterday. Like in the uh, admin alerts, I not only alerts but I do a lot of chatter here, like uh, this one, or I try to post something like. If I see something, I'm watching these things. I, I kind of post this type of uh, chattery as well. I myself don't like it because uh, some people might think like, okay, I mean, uh, this is an alert, so that's not an alert. What is he doing, right? So, but most of most of the people have asked me like, I don't care about any other channels. I just want whatever message you're putting it out. I want to read every message of yours. I don't want to miss out anything. So that's the reason this, this channel is kind of alert come chattery, but I want to create another channel where I just put every message, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm seeing, I'll put that thoughts in that channel and the alerts will be just simply alerts, like um, get in this one, get out of it, or, or like every, every few hours, I'll try to put an open positions stack up like this or like this. Like this is now when when market comes down when I have some time I kind of try to go back to my positions and see what how they are doing, and what is our entry and what is the current position value is it green or red that's what I try to do, so but yeah I will try to make some changes in that direction and definitely. Thank you, thank you, Raj. Yeah. Okay. Um... So uh, <clears throat> one more thing, just a generalized question, like. Yeah. So, uh, I I hear like a lot of new. Uh, I mean, uh, news out there or gossip. Like the first hundred days of presidential will be a prestigious, and they don't bring that correction. But I see uh, in the la in this week there is correction in the market, right? So, do you, what is your opinion on the market uh, for a long term? Is it a good time or still there is a, a lot more downfall in the market? So the the channel here, if you see. What I'm focusing on, uh, I mean, let's let's talk talk about that one little later. I will ask, I will answer that question to to the members only uh, call once we have it. Uh, I will answer that. Okay. Anyone else has any questions on this one? Hey, hey, Raja. Uh, this is Ajay Tiagi. Uh, hey. Hey, hi. Uh, actually, I have one question. I mean, nothing to do with this thing. So, could you please share some kind of, you know, I mean, 
any information where it will give more detail about the charts because I'm not that good to understand the and read the charts. So if you have anything handy which will give some kind of you know idea to at least understand the pattern support and you know all those things that would be really great help. Like you want me to teach you about the channels? No, 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 no. Just if you could share some information, I can go by my own. Or if you are planning for any such session where you are going to teach, you know, a little bit about the chart, that would be great. But, but you know, I mean, if I'm the only one, then I would prefer if you could share some kind of, you know, online material or something. Because I see a lot of information on Google and all. But sometimes I kind of get confused by seeing so much information. Okay. Tyagi, I, I will definitely share this to you. And you have to believe it. I, I did not read any material. I did not read anything. Um, I just picked up a chart and spent like a few months uh, doing some option studying to begin with. And I have when in my previous group or uh, where if someone says some pattern is being followed or I just observed the chart and picked, up, picked it up myself. I did not read any material. It's, but, yeah, I mean, if you could, if you could, like, you know, at least if you could share some points, I mean, I mean, whatever your experience, if you could share a little bit more, more detail, that would be really helpful, kind of, you know, to yeah. understand and react accordingly. Definitely, I will have some, that once, once we have a little bit stability in the market, let's focus on that. I will try to definitely do that for you guys. Yeah, sure. And, and I have one more, one more question. Uh, so, especially like, you know, I mean, this day trade and all. So what would be the kind of the capital you would recommend, like the account minimum 5K, 10K, 25K, something like that? Okay. So it, it depends on your overall, um, like what, what, what is your uh, situation in your life, man? So if you can risk uh, 5K or 10K in options trading, then that will be your account, right? But, but to answer your question, so I have... I will always maintain three different accounts for options trading. I do Lotus only in a particular account. I never touch anything other than Lotus in that one and that will be a very small account. And day trades will be another account which is little bit over my Lotus but definitely not as much as my swing trades. So depends on the type of trades. You have to be very disciplined here. So if you are doing only swing trades, then put as much as you can, uh, risk it, uh, like 30% risk and 70% will be safe in that account. And day trades, it's like 50-50 and Lotus will be like 80-20. The risk is very high. So it depends on, so you should be very disciplined. I mean, if you have one account and you're paying everything in and out, like not really calculating your risk, like if you go into a Loto on a Friday for Amazon, like if you put um, your ten, your account is 10k and if you put 5k in it then you are doing very bad job if if, he's, if your account is 10k then at the max you can put is 800 or 1000 at the max i mean that will be a high risk thing too because you you might be losing 10% of your account if that uh, trade fails so but still it's a loto and most of the time if it works uh, you will end up being like thousand will be two thousand or two thousand five hundred. So depends on type of trades you're doing. If you are specifically doing swing trades, and if you have ten k, then you at the max you will be losing three uh, k if you if the worst situation hits you. I mean, understood? Does it make any sense? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's really good. Yeah, so definitely. Thanks, thanks for sharing that info. Yeah, definitely don't do, don't club everything together. And I mean, if, if you have played already two Lotos or three Lotos for that given week, don't even tempt to do another one, even you are 100% sure. Even if you know some inside and poor, whatever you have it, don't do it. I mean, you have to be very disciplined on that aspect. Uh, swing trades, it's, it's okay. You can do as much as you can, uh, as long as you are not uh, losing too much on it. Day trades, keep it very simple. Day trades and Lotus, they will turn up, turn your account up and down in few minutes. So unless and until you know what you're doing and you know what you're risking, don't do that. Swing trades is a little bit better, but in this market, you cannot do that too. So always risk what you can afford to lose. 
Yeah, got it. And, and it's probably last question from me. Sorry, I'm asking too much. <laughs> so, I mean, it comes to platform. So, I mean, your recommendation, the Webull only or like TOS, especially because this type of trade, we need to very fast, right? To sending yeah. the order, closing and all. So, so I, would you recommend Webull or kind of something else? I only trade in E-Trade. And Webull is only for charts. Okay. And I don't okay. E trade, power E trade, especially uh, that gives me very good feels most of the time. And I, ha I did not have any issues. Most of the time, I get very beautiful in uh, fills and uh, price action provided. So it's usually fast. So E trade, especially power E trade, is what I recommend for options. And uh, we build for charts and nothing else. Uh, for, I mean, I have tried each and every platform, believe me. So E-Trade and I've settled with E-Trade for uh, options trading and uh, charts for Webull. E-Trade is it a money account or just a margin account that you use? For, so, for, for those guys, I mean, who are, I mean, let me answer this because people have been asking me quite good on this one. So if you only want to do uh, cash only account, then yes, E-Trade is straightforward. But if you want to do spreads and you don't want to go for margin, then there is another way to do it is go for an IRA account in E-Trade where you can contribute 6K max per given year. And that account comes with, auto, with automatic options trading with level three, meaning you don't, have, you don't need to have your margin. It, there will be no margin on that account definitely, but they will give you spreads by default. So that's something you can do. And all the income on that one, mostly goes not taxed until you withdraw it. And for, in, for specific reasons, you can withdraw it without even penalty. So there, there are certain things you need to follow on that one, but uh, I would suggest doing those things. And with E-Trade, e um, you can open a new account in a matter of seconds. And uh, within the same portfolio, you can have 10 to 12 different accounts and you can distribute your funds within those accounts and keep them organized with, okay, this is my Lotto account, this is my swing trade, and this is my day trade. And you can view all the positions at one, point, one entry itself. I mean, there is an option to view all the accounts and individually one account in platform. So I, I strongly recommend E-Trade only because of my personal experience and nothing else. Should I repeat it or am I too fast? No, no, Raja. Uh, I got my answer. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else has any questions? Hey, uh, Raja, this is Mohan. Hey, Mohan. Uh, hey, I have a couple of points here. So uh, I request all the members to be a little bit patient. Yeah. Patient with my questions and also I would line up all my questions and I, I, I won't expect you to answer all the questions or you can take it up one by one. That's okay. Okay. So number one is that, so you publish the, the, the daily notes uh -huh. and what is the timeline we have to look at the notes and prepare ourselves. So you have a lot of, lot of things there. So say, say for example, somebody who's little bit new into the options or who have just started to follow on, even if they have done some options, otherwise also, it takes a little bit of preparation from our side to understand the chart. Say for example, in the chart we are, you are looking, Starbucks, the, the levels are not correct actually. 539 doesn't fall under Starbucks. That is something like NVIDIA or something else. Yeah. So to differentiate that itself, it takes a little bit of uh, our prudence to understand it. Yeah, and and for somebody who's new, it, it's it's a little bit overwhelming with all your green notes and everything. But once you understand it, that's okay. So my question here is that: at what time in the morning do we have to look at this and we have to prepare something? So, say for example, me or somebody who already taught, they say that we are all small account people. So all the entries there does not reflect our position or our area of operations. Say for example, if I'm going to look at Starbucks or prepare one or two things to play today, then all other things I will just omit it and look into concentrate on only one or two items there. So it's that before 8.30, before nine o'clock, mentally prepare for whatever I'm going to enter today. So that is one question, number one question. Number two is that, uh, no, in, in number one also, somebody who is joining new, 
i think this has to be walked through periodically so what what do you mean by that s box there and what does the levels mean there and what do you mean by calls access and all those things you don't have to do it you you can ask some volunteers to take up ping the people to the volunteers and they may help out one on one on that that is one thing which i want to talk that is one number two is that the alerts whatever we are uh, we are we are talking throughout the day right it's all over the place it's not in one place uh, it becomes a little bit overwhelmed to follow everything because there's a lot of chatting happening and after 10 chats there is one item done by you and that goes to the top by the time people continue chatting your information or direction or instruction is up in the top and we are 15 minutes away and come to back to the system there are 25 to 30 messages and we are we just skip or we just lose focus on that particular message where our position will be lying there to to get to get something done so that is one issue which i am seeing here because there is i feel that there are too many channels and too many uh, operations happening at the same time so if it is difficult for the followers to look at it i understand how difficult it will be for you to operate with all the channels all the people and do the research on the on, online and at that nick of the time how difficult it will be for you so it it will take a little bit of time to get organized but please uh, put your thoughts and effort on 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 on, on this particular point Uh, then number 3 is that uh, we talk about averaging out right so averaging out how many how long we have to average out or if i have one position or two position how many averages i have to do and when is that i have to stop averaging and come out of it so that is that is one thing which i did not know uh then this is third point then the fourth point is that there is a lot of times there is cryptic languages which is being used in the channel only couple of people maybe three four people five people may understand and there is always a chance that there are newbies coming in or people who are operating on other their own channels are operating on reading some other uh, blog there and coming and doing the options there and they are new to here and it takes time to understand what you people really talk so i think we should reduce the cryptic languages and if possible we have to go for the full extension of things that is one item which i want to just mention and uh, next thing is that uh, so in my particular case i follow you and also i have my own uh, options there so to mix and match this it becomes really difficult uh, so how to manage that that's one thing which i want to do and uh, understand from you also and uh, i would suggest one more action item in our whole process of things is that after we complete the market for the day and is there any possibility of us the whole team or you or somebody uh, chatting for maybe 10 15 minutes of uh, who did what and if there is any specific issue can we have a specific time there every day to just have a 10 minute 15 minute talk if if time permits and everyone it's not going to be everyone all the 100 people jumping in and talking that's not going to happen it's like a very un un uh, committed or what to say unscheduled just casual tea time ch- chat like that open issues this that hey i did this i got this or something like that is that possible uh, we can try on that and as i had already discussed with you and one on one in case of any distress situations we want to consult you or we want to take something like that that uh, that possibility i want to explore then in terms of the accounts right uh, there were a couple of people also asking about the number of uh, uh, number of accounts or the amount how much i should hold on individual account i have a very specific question if it is going to be below 25k how are we going to execute a day trade that goes into the pattern day trade or that goes into uh, something like we cannot do it uh, we can do only one trade in that five days or something like that so how are we going to tackle that i think i have put a lot of questions on the table so please take over from here okay thank you so for the in order to answer your first question about the time frame on this one so i clearly mentioned uh, so i post this mostly in the pre market at least in 8 to 815 range uh, the only reason is uh, market is behaving little odd these days but once it settles down i'll try to post it 
maybe one hour ahead or maybe in the midnight time when I before I go to bed I try to prepare it and post it and leave it there most of the times I do that and if there's any correction I'll come back and do it in the morning but so what you need to do is if I mean if, if you have at least media core or an advanced memory you know what to do but if the beginners what you need to do is but from my understanding all the members I have are at least experienced uh, not even one or two are uh, entry level option trader uh, in the membership subscription I have but all the general audience I have seems to be few but I mean I've been asking to come forward to ask questions or try to learn if anything to reach out to me at least ping me directly but yeah so take these ones um, for example this is a, a correct way of the levels so if you, if you're an entry level they forget about the levels but uh, what what I'm saying here what I have the legends here is that if if a particular five minutes candle on an entry uh, this is the start of a day so we start right here if I say 381 or if it, it's coming down but let's let's assume this is the start of a day or something if if a five minutes candle, breaks out that's fine but ends here and the next candle stays about that holds its continuation process then watch for the one or two candles don't enter right away watch for one or two candles like for example here if i say 377 it broke and hold then then eventually came back down so i usually wait always tell that uh, wait for the first two or three candles to see the strong direction we don't have to be in the trade uh, to catch each and every bar from the time it broke or tried to be bullish. We just need to be in few bars. That's it, we'll make good money up out there. So uh, that's what I keep telling people, like wait for the first two or three, five minutes candles to be complete. Then if these levels are broken in that first five, 10 minutes, then take these options and by the time I mostly I post an alert like okay if BA crossed about 226 it's it stays there and it's being strong today then I will definitely post this trade before before even you analyze it but my main intention of this notes is if you are if you know what you're doing then you can use this notes and trade it yourself but if you don't know what you're doing these are the trade these are the tickets I'm following following mainly top of my list on that day and if you want to just uh, wait for my alert, expect these things to be happening. Maybe just save a, uh, prepare an order, save it to yourself. Don't send it out, just save the order. And as soon as I say hit button, just adjust the premium and send it out. So that would be my suggestion uh, for those who uh, are trying to follow, but uh, don't know anything about options or at least know a few things. Either save, save these trades, orders format it uh, and save it to yourself and then hit send button as soon as i give you an alert and the second one is uh, as i already mentioned about the alerts and organizing that's right that's what i was telling you guys like the alerts is where i'm chatting as well as providing uh, alerts so i'll try to differentiate it by creating one more channel where uh, admin chattery or admin whatever i call it i don't know but in this one, I'll just post alerts, entry and exit only. And sometimes with an OP 